Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I am wonderful. I am back today to show you a lot of good stuff from the Dollar Tree. And guys, they're back. Last few years, they have been coming out with these like gingerbread cookie kits. Everything is done for you. All you need to do is decorate it. And it comes with a bunch of different, like the frostings and sprinkles and all of that. And this one is the gingerbread house kit. It's pre-baked, you build it yourself, and the kit includes icing, ready to use, sprinkles, and sugar pearls. And this is six ounces by Bakerfield, Bakersfield. And I've picked these up in the past and they are really cute. It shows you on the back what it looks like. I'm not gonna open this. Well, maybe I will because I'm gonna take this up to um, Allison's for the girls, let them go ahead and do these. I picked up one of the gingerbread house. You can see it comes like this, it's in pieces. You do have to kind of snap it gently apart, but they're pretty easy to do. They, we never had a problem with them breaking on us or anything, just be gentle. And then it comes with the frosting and the little, little sprinkles. And then you can always pick up other things, little gumdrops, things like that, to go ahead and make them a little bit fancier. So I picked up one of the gingerbread house and then I picked up one of the cookies and you do get two cookies in here. This is the pre-baked Christmas kit cookie decoration also by Bakersfield and the kit includes icing ready to use, Christmas sprinkles and pearls and this is a 3.17 ounce and you get two cookies. The expiration is June of 25 on this. Let me see how easy this is gonna to be to open. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I know in past years, they've had some that the cookies are really, really like dark, almost burnt. So let's go ahead and look. They're both fully intact. They look good. And there are two, two gingerbread men in there. They're a smaller cookie, but still, you know, it's a nice size and they're just fun to do. And this came with the sprinkles and two different colors of frosting, the white and the red. Nice little activity for the kids to do. And I think the girls actually ate them last year and said they were good. So this is gonna go up to them. I'll just have to repackage it once I'm done making this, making this video. I finally found the flips in the milk chocolate. I had a hard time finding these. They had every other flavor. Could not find the milk chocolate. And these are probably the favorite in our family. So I picked up a bag of those. And these are a small bag. They're only, does it 2.75? Yes, 2.75 ounces. They're the covered pretzels. We all really enjoy these. And the best buy is May of 25 on that. And it does say it's two and a half servings per, per bag. These are really good, and we've liked them all, every one that we've ever picked up. So I finally found them. I picked up two bags of those. And I think this is the last of the food items. They had this, and I don't know if we have ever picked this up. It's by Tasty Kitchen. This is turkey gravy, ready to serve. It's a 14.5 ounce can. The best buy is, where is it? May of 26. Have you guys tried this yet? I remember like two or three years ago, and then I remember seeing it again last year. They had a gravy that was in a clear jar. I don't remember the brand. We did not like that at, at all. Thanksgiving, at Christmas, I make my own gravies. I don't use this type of thing, but these are great to have on the shelf, just when you need it. If you make mashed potatoes, quick, you know, quick gravy, but that in the jar, that was nasty. So I'm kind of curious to try this. When I buy gravies like this, I usually do buy like a name brand. I don't know anything about this company. So if you do know, if you've tried this, please comment below and let us know what your thoughts are on this. Next thing, let's see, that was it for the food. I showed these, not this pack, another pack, in a recent video. Hubby actually picked these up to put in with his hunting gear. And you guys were saying that they do work well. I had picked up a like a sleeping face mask that had a pair of orange ones in. I can't say they were like this. They wouldn't work at all. But you guys were saying these do. 
So I picked up a pack just to test them. These are the Assured brand. You get four pairs in here and the little, little travel carrying case. So I wanna try it and see. I mean, I know how earplugs work, but the ones that came with that sleep mask, they were so hard, you could not get them to, to do this at all. See how that, these are good. You guys are right. You're absolutely right. So thank you for that. These are for me for at night. Hubby snores. He says I snore too, but these are going to be for me. I just want to test it. They fit in your ear nice. All right, guys, you guys are right. Thank you for letting me know that you can really bend these way up. They, I mean, they, they squeeze into nothing. And then they will eventually just sort of expand again. But I know the ones in that little sleep mask, they didn't do anything. They were hard as a rock. All right, next item. I had a request from our three-year-old grand lady. Every time she sees us, she is asking for a new hat or mittens or now she wants a scarf. So Nani and Poppy did pick her up stuff for Christmas time, a new hat. And when she was here the last time, it was chilly. Mother Nature right now, she doesn't know what, what she's doing. One day it's near 80, the next day it's like 50. And the day she was here, it was chilly. And she asked me if I had any mittens. And of course I did. So she loved them. They were the little, almost like snugadoo feel little mittens, loved them. So she asked if I could find her a pink scarf. Her little winter coat, it's pink and it has like faux fur on it. And the closest thing I could find at Dollar Tree was this one. I will look elsewhere and find her a true pink scarf. This is more of a peach color, but this is soft. And it has like the two from tag and you can take the price off. It does come off guys, I'm, there we go. It comes off, you can write to and from. And I think these are just green briar. I don't think these are like Snugadoo or anything. They have it on the little hanger. You just take it off. These are long and they're just a very simple, basic scarf, but soft. And they had other colors, no pink. I couldn't find any pink. So I just picked up this really light peach color. I may pick up one of these for myself. These are nice. They're, they're very soft on the skin. And I do like scarves. I, I like having something on the back of my neck just to keep this cold Pennsylvania wind from going down the back. I like scarves. These are nice. Great for in a stocking. Great for in a gift basket. So that, that is earmarked for our three-year-old little grand lady. A few things from the um, beauty section. I found these. They're spatulas for makeup. And these are just called beauty spatulas. Use every drop of the beauty product. You get two in here, a really long one. I mean, this is well over a foot long with a little silicone spatula and then a shorter one. And then you can reach down in your, your products, your lotions, foundations. Who makes this? Schroeder and Tremaine is the name of the company. I think that is really nice to have. and. I don't know what this is made from, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time to look here to see, but why couldn't you use this for food products as well if this is food grade? I mean, I don't know if it is or isn't, but I am going to read this. I think that is really nice. I just picked up one, and they did have different color spatula ends. This is the one that was at the end of the peg. Very nice. So this is going to go in with my, my beauty stuff. That's for me. And then I saw this and thought Allison might like it. It's the Sally Hansen brand, which you guys know I absolutely love. That little scarf is blown around fuzzies now. But this nail polish is plant-based. And Allison really likes cleaner products. I don't know how clean this is. I will let her go ahead and figure all that out. But I thought maybe she would like this. And it's just Sally Hansen. It's pure, good, kind, and pure. And it says it's vegan, and it is in the shade 220 Be Gone. And it looks like a very pale, like a pinky peach color. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this packaged, and I'm going to give this to her the next time I see her. 
I like that. I love Sally Hansen. You guys know that's my, my go-to nail polish brand is Sally Hansen. It works amazingly well on my nails. And I needed some dish soap, and I thought I would pick this up. I tried this a while back, and no, I really enjoyed it, so I grabbed it again. And it's made with 100% recycled plastic. You get 15% more free versus palm olive 8.4 ounce. And it's a 9.7 fluid ounce. This is pure and clear. And it says there is no unnecessary ingredients. And this is in the spring fresh scent. And on the back, it says it's hypoallergenic. There are no parabens, phosphates, or dyes. Biodegradable, responsibly made. So I picked up a bottle of this, and I remember this smelling really good. It does. It smells so nice. So I just want to give it a try again. It's been a while since I picked it up. So, But I remember really liking this when I showed it a long time ago. I have something that is a must in your household. It is one of these. It's one of the long grabber sticks of what are they called? Long Reach and Pickup by Toolbench, $1.25, 33 inches long. These are the things that it has the little trigger handle, handle here and then it pinches to grab things on the floor. Hubby has one and I keep borrowing his. So we were going around the store the one day, he goes his way, I go mine. He put one of these in the cart for me. I am so glad he did. I have one of our bedrooms upstairs. We have a big sleigh bed. It's a king size and there's a window behind it. It's the only place in the room where the bed will fit. So the window is kind of blocked. And with the sleigh bed, it's very tall, the headboard. And I like, I have candles in all my windows. That window, I cannot reach over the headboard to reach down to get the candle. You can't reach behind the headboard to put the candle on the windowsill. So this works great. I can use this, I can pinch the candle, change the batteries, whatever, and set it down in the windowsill. These are amazing. So if you don't have one in your life, get one because they work great. And they seem so much sturdier than what they did years ago. I'm able to pick up heavier things and they're awesome. So I'm always borrowing his. He must have got sick of me borrowing his and put one in the cart for me. And those are also great. If you have someone in your life that doesn't get around as well anymore, great Christmas idea. Pick that up for them. If they're sitting in their chair and they're dro they drop something, they can reach and pick it. Whatever up. reason, they're they're great to have in your house. I picked up a few books. You guys know I love books. These are hardback. And these are by Disney. And this one is Pixar's Coco. Hardback. Excellent. And it says Wonderful World of Reading. And it's the, the book about Coco. This one is Frozen. Also hardback. And then this one is also Disney Pixar. And it's Monsters University. So picked up each one of these to have here just to add to our collection. I love it when I find hardback books at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. I think that's great. And these were the only three that we saw. So if you guys know if there's others out there, please let us know. I never think to look inside the covers or anything to see if it shows what other books are out there. This one doesn't. But I think that's great. Great little thing for Toys for Tots if you're collecting. Great for a grandchild. Great to give to an expected couple if they're going to be having a baby. Get them some books for the new baby. All right, everybody, that is it for this haul. I'm going to go ahead and get all the stuff put away, move along with my day. I hope you're doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.